Hey y'all, today I'm going to be doing a lot of my southern favorites. I'm recreating a childhood favorite with my barbecue pork sandwich. We're going to start with a simple barbecue pork sandwich. I'm going to start with a four pound shoulder pork roast and we're going to make a dry rub and our dry rub consists of two tablespoons of salt. Now I'm gonna use two tablespoons of dark brown sugar. Now that's dark brown, not the light brown. The dark brown sugar's had the molasses left in it. All right, now our next ingredient to go in our bowl is two tablespoons of black pepper. You know, this is gonna have a little kick to it, but sometimes we like to be kicked down here in the south. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? The next ingredient is paprika. I'm going to put in two tablespoons, and I'm just going to eyeball that. And I'm going to use a half a tablespoon of garlic powder. And then the last thing I'm putting in is cayenne pepper. And I'm going to add about a half a tablespoon. Now you can add to or back off of that. So that's it. Just that few ingredients does it take to make a fabulous dry rub. All right, I'm gonna bring my meat over here. And I'm gonna just very liberally sprinkle him with this dry rub. I'm not gonna let this hand touch the pork because I'm not gonna use all of this rub today. I wanna save it for the next time I'm needing a dry rub. Now, all we're gonna do is just cover him up with a plastic wrap, pop him in the fridge, and we're gonna let him marinate for about two hours. All right, so let's pop him in, and I'm gonna have to stop at the sink and wash my hands because, you know, I got all that cayenne pepper on me, so I sure don't wanna accidentally put my hands to my nose or my mouth. So you'll want to make sure all that cayenne is gone from your hands. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm so glad y'all have joined me in the kitchen today and I hope that you're enjoying the recipes that I'm preparing for y'all. In case you've just tuned in, I mixed up a dry rub and I took a four pound pork shoulder roast and I rubbed him good with that dry rub. We put him in the refrigerator and let him marinate for two hours. Now I'm gonna make us a delicious pulled pork roast sandwich. I'm gonna add two cups of apple juice or you can use apple cider. Now I'm gonna pour in one cup of apple cider vinegar. And the next ingredient is Worcestershire sauce. Now I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of the Worcestershire. And now I'm gonna add one tablespoon of liquid smoke. And this is gonna come out resembling barbecue pork roast that you would cook out on the grill because we've got our liquid smoke here and we've got our apple juice giving it like an apple woodsy taste. And I'm gonna cook it until it just pulls apart. All right, so a quick stir on our wet ingredients. I'm gonna just sit our roast down in our pot. Now I'm gonna cover him with tin foil. I've got my oven, y'all, preheated to 325 degrees, which is kind of a slower heat. And I'm gonna put the lid on him, fasten him down real good. Now I'm gonna put him into our preheated oven and I'm gonna let our pork roast cook for four hours. Oh, and this is so heavy. Oh, that's like a workout. All right, now let me step down here and wash my hands because I've been touching that pork. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, y'all, now, I, I just took our pork shoulder roast out of the oven. Oh, gosh, let's bring it around here. And let's unveil this bad boy and see what we've got. Look how good that does look. It smells like it's been cooking outside on that grill. Mmm. Mmm. What flavor it does have. Hey, y'all, I got our pork up here now, and it's cooled enough for me to get in here and pull it. I love me some pulled pork. I'm gonna put me some mayonnaise on my bread. I'm gonna pile my pork up onto one side of my bread. Now I'm gonna put just a little barbecue sauce. And I'm gonna put just a little coleslaw on mine. A little black pepper. And we have got us, y'all, a fine, oops, I'm gonna add a little bit more mayonnaise. Soak it into the bread. We have got us a fine two-fisted pulled barbecue pork sandwich. And it's pretty good, y'all, with a pickle, too. But I'll get me some pickles later. All right, y'all. Mmm. You just want to eat this among friends because it can get kind of messy. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.